Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I have a bit of an exclusive for you, a bit of an early look at the new prepaid plans from Verizon, Verizon's prepaid that are launching on 1119. So next month on the 19th, these new plans are going to launch on Verizon prepaid. So what you see on screen is 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 a, is a summary of of what's to come. What's you know what's uh, in that red square is the are the new plans, new features, um, uh, pricing as well. So here you have the 15 gig plan for 35 a month. If you just need talk text, 30 a month. Those are the cheaper end plans. But I believe that talk text plan has already been there, so that's nothing new. And so the three new plans, the 15 gig, unlimited, unlimited plus, those are the three key ones that we want to focus on today and and and, and take a, look, a closer look at. So plan features, um, quite a bit different per the per the pricing. So the 15 gig plan is $35 a month. Um, it's $45 without auto pay, but with auto pay, it is $35. So just keep that in mind. Plan features, 5G nationwide, mobile hotspot from plan allowance, talk, text, and data, to and from Mexico and Canada. So very basic. That is that is a very basic plan for a very basic price. Uh, very similar to what you would likely get on the welcome plan on Verizon. Verizon postpaid. So unlimited and unlimited plus, I think those that's a bit more attractive, more aggressive uh, plan pricing from Verizon. So the unlimited is $50 with auto pay, $60 without. Gives you 5G nationwide, 5 gigs of mobile hotspot, talk, text, and data to and from Mexico and Canada. So very interesting to, to offer that at that price point on the prepaid side. And then the unlimited plus $60 a month with auto pay 70 without plan features. Unlimited 5G ultra wideband, 5G nationwide, 50 gigs premium network access, 25 gigs on the, on the hotspot. And global choice, one country per month. Talk, text, and data to and from Mexico and Canada. So very interesting pricing, very interesting plan features. Even though the, the higher tier pricing still seems quite uh, basic, what you would get with that plan. I don't see any uh, Disney Plus or anything like that included. May still be included, so don't, don't quote me on that. But what we on this document that we have here, it, it does not show any... Disney Plus. So all plans, this is for all all of the plans below, include 5G nationwide, 4G LTE, unlimited talk text, international texting, call filter app, digital security app, and, and these are the, the, the free basic standard ones that are being offered here. So very interesting. And, and one more part, loyalty discount. Even without auto pay, customers can still save with loyalty discount on phone plans with 50 gigs or more, say $5 a month per line after three payments then double the savings at $10 a month after nine payments. Loyalty discounts are not stackable with auto pay discount. So very interesting, um, very aggressive, very, I think very competitive um, uh, positioning themselves on that, on that prepaid side, very competitive. Again, their prepaid brand is competing against their other prepaid brands, right? They got the visible. They now got the straight talk. They got all these other brands out there total by Verizon, and they're all just competing against each other. So, as I've said before, so I'll say this is aggressive. I think this positions them very well for the holiday season and then the tax, the tax season coming up early next year. I think this positions them well. But I think they have too many brands, and I've said that very clear in another video. They have too many brands that are competing against each other. If a customer from Verizon prepay goes to Visible, it... You know, it's, it's no benefit to Verizon. They're just going back and forth. So I still think they should have brought all the prepaid brands under TrackPhone, had Verizon postpaid and TrackPhone as the prepaid brand. And they should have just went with that, in my opinion. But we'll see what uh, we'll see what the outcome is. I still truly believe, to, to close out this video, I still truly believe Verizon is going to have to make a price adjustment on the postpaid side. I, I, I feel it in my stomach. My palms are itching. They are going to have to come down in price. I truly believe the get more that's $100 is going to have to come down to at least 85 
even if taxes and fees are not included, it's going to have to come down in price. They're going to have to get competitive. They're losing right now. It's a recessionary environment. The consumer is more than ever now preparing themselves for that. So they're making adjustments. And a lot of them are willing to make the sacrifice for a cheaper price. You know, if some are saying, hey, T-Mobile is not that great, but I need the cheaper price, they are going to switch. And we're seeing that now in this environment more than ever. So let me know what you think about this pricing and this plan in the comment section. If I haven't said it, this, these plans are launching. These new prepay plans are launching November 19th. So keep that in mind. Just wanted to uh, prematurely let you guys know this is the new pricing, the new plans. So leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.